Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel and uh, an interesting bit of news that we learned. So last month on Patch Tuesday in April, we had a lot of little things that were fixed. One of the fixed um, flaws last month when we received uh, the um, cumulative update KB5555052523 and Windows 1124H2 is different than 23H2 and even in Windows 10 all three all, all all systems were actually affected by this one of the fixes was on the Windows uh, common log uh, system that was used in targeted attacks exploited in the wild and Microsoft said well you know there's a few threat actors that we know might be using or have been using this to get into either finance systems. Uh, they were also attacking some IT systems. Um, and, um, you know, it, it didn't seem to be that big of a deal. It, it was a, a flaw to fix, but Microsoft kind of said, well, isn't that bad, actually? Well, Symantec, as uh, the threat team, has actually started looking into it and analyzing all of it, and they're realizing that this is was much bigger than Microsoft actually thought. It seems that a lot of different groups have been exploiting this flaw so that they could actually attain system privileges and do what they want on your system. So this was kind of interesting because it meant that you could have been one of those that get malware and uh, with the elevation of privilege uh, have malware installed on your PC basically. So that is fixed and that is why we have to always put and push the Windows updates for uh, the um, security because they are important but um, it is interesting to see that some of the flaws might be actually uh, exploited in a, a different way or exploited more than what uh, Microsoft might think at the beginning uh, when they fix the flaw. So, of course, if you have the Patch Tuesday updates on Windows 10, uh, 11, 23H2, 24H2 on your system, you are safe from this type of attack. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.